The boiler Both teams are lining up for the kickoff. We're just about set to get this one underway. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Nittany Lions and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. It's second Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. So they pick up the first down there. It's about a six-yard gain on the play. Good job to let the play develop and pick up a nice gain for a first down. Red two. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. From the 46-yard line, first down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Kill, kill, kill. Yellow, Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and he's tackled around the 47-yard line. And they'll lose a yard there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Around the 34-yard line. Number 44 makes the tackle from the 34-yard line. It's first down. Red two. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. And he's got his man. Tackles around the 24 yard line. Number 44 with the tackle at the 24 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Now he pitches it. That's a great tackle at the 21 yard line. That's a gain of three. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quick throw to the tight end. Touchdown, Penn State! The tight end scored that time, and with authority. Brad is a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A nine-play, 76-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So our score, 7 nothing, and he's tackled at the 24. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. It's second down, five to go. Ball on their own 29. Let's go! Uh -huh. 
Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 34. A pickup of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Action here. He's going to scramble. The offense here picks up the first down by running the football, and I really think that they gave the quarterback there an option at the line of scrimmage to run or to pass, depending on what he saw from the defense. The defense that time looked to be out of position. I think they were anticipating a pass. The quarterback recognized that, made the check at the line, and they were able to run the football for a first down. And he is drilled to 37 yard line. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Run left side. He gets hit out of bounds. Right around the 42 yard line. He's going to air it long. Brought down around the 17 yard line. A good look and pass that time. Well, here they do a nice job of getting the ball out to their speedy receiver. And he shows you that he not only can turn on the Jets, but he's got pretty decent hands as well. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. The five, and down he goes, just outside the goal line. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. This is the eighth play of this drive. Touchdown, Boilermakers. It takes a lot of strength to run it when you're heading into a massive pile of bodies. Good job of holding on to it and getting it across the goal line. We'll be tied with the extra point, and he tacks on the extra point. An eight-play, 75-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And they can forget about returning this one. I think this defense right now needs somebody to try to lift up their spirits. They seem to really be just out there kind of going through the motions. And I think the last time they were out there where they gave up such a long drive has had an impact and an effect negatively on the psyche of this defense. Sometimes when you've got speed, that's all you need. It's the one thing you just can't defend. From their own 35-yard line. First down. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. That brings up second and one. He's on the run. <laughs> Tackle made around the 48-yard line. Gain of four yards. First down. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike, 39. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. Check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Red 2. Blue 20. There's a strike complete. He's down. That makes it second and six. From the 48 yard line. Second down. Go! 
He's scrambling. He's at the 40. And he's taken down right around the 30. That's a team on the ball. That makes it first and 10. From the 30-yard line, right, first down. Watch his flag. Watch his flag. Hey, check my pit. Here we go, here we go. He gets sacked on the play. Well, that time the defense did a really good job of bringing pressure. They brought the blitz and really it freed up the defensive line to eventually put pressure on the quarterback. Around the 30-yard line. Number 44 on the, on the tackle, tackle at the 30-yard line. line. That, that brings, brings up third and 10. ten. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 20. Hey, check my 39. Check my 39. And they get the sack. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Penn State could take the lead with this field goal. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Ball is loose, fumble, picked up by the defense. And he's tackled around the 37-yard line. A lot of guys in the defensive backfield are ball hawks, and the safety showed it there by pouncing on the football. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Penn State has a three-point lead. Quickly to the tight end, incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 37. Here we go, here we go, here we go. X7. Here's the halfback on the screen. And he's level at the 33 yard line. Pulls it in, but he can't stay in bounds, and that'll be a loss. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and it's good! like they're ready for the kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And they can forget about returning this one. Here comes the offense. No doubt looking to take better care of the ball on this drive. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Second and three. 
They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here we go. Black, nine, nine. And he's immediately tackled. Purdue just took their first time out. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. And he hits him hard at the 43-yard line. hit immediately they just took what the defense gave them on that play yeah you're right that was a good job of getting that pass completed for positive yardage second down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down down and he's going to get sacked. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds and those receivers might have been open. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Here's the... Nope, they snap into the up back. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Under heavy pressure. Deep ball, laying it out there. And it's going the other way. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Interception, baby. Let's go. It's first and ten. Ball on the 20. Penn State with a six-point lead. Number 39 makes the tackle at the 25-yard line. That brings him second and five. seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. Penn State leads 13-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Chris Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. A tight, hard-hitting, low-scoring affair. Great hey, affair. This, this Great. Is right, you can say it like it is. This is right in your wheelhouse, Pollock. I mean, this, this is exactly in your comfort zone. No, I, absolutely. I mean, you like to see people flying around. You like to see defenses dictating to offenses and make them play on our terms. And it's, it's fun to watch. It's something that 
as a great every great defense pride themselves prides themselves on tackle. You know, you didn't see very many missed tackles in the first half that led to big plays and try to limit those big plays and when they do get down towards the red zone, make people kick field goals and that's that's how you see dominant defenses year in, year out, and, and that's what we're seeing today. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Brad and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He'll return it from the one. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. There's a strike complete. Tackle at about the 45. He's got it with room to run. They must have seen something in the defense because that was the exact same play as the one they ran before. Exactly the same play. The defense better make some adjustments because right now there's a mismatch that the offense has taken advantage of. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Fires quickly to the fullback. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. Brought down at the 22. First and 10, ball on the 22. Taken down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard on the way. That'll bring up second and 11. Here's the eighth play of the series. For a sack on the play. No, no. The loss of five yards on the play. That'll bring up third and long. Well, they've converted one third down play on this drive, but now they're faced with a third and long. He tackles him hard at the 20. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Penn State is up by three. Fakes to the back. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes at 
the 35. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Go four! He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. First down. Hey, check Mike 39. Gets out to around the 45. That brings up second. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Blue. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. Two-yard loss. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets two on the carry. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Throws a laser across the middle, and they make the stop around the 24-yard line. That makes it second and six. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Setting up the play action. Slides down. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. Play fake and looking to run. Tackle made at about the 39-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. It's on the ground. And they fall on the loose ball. And he's taken down around the 48-yard line. What do you think about that last turnover, Kirk? Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. It's going to be interesting to see how the action shakes out in this series. Penn State is up a field goal. Gets it off as he's hit, completes. Knocked out of bounds at the 33. And folks, it's neck and neck as we head to the final quarter of play. The Nittany Lions with a three-point lead. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. That'll make it second and It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Red to it. Inside the 10, he gets out to about the eight. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and goal. Three 
down, three down. Hey, check Mike 39, check Mike 39. Hit. Black five, black five, to go. And they hit him in the backfield. He just never had a chance to get any running room. The defense was on him almost as soon as the ball was snapped. From the 10 yard line, second down. He laterals the ball. They'll knock him down for a loss. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get up field north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read to get up field as quickly as possible. In college football, and especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you, and that's what happened. There's a fumble. It's picked up by the offense. Tackled for a loss. Yep, and this is why you need to know where the ball is at all times. So it's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Penn State holds a field goal lead. The kick is up, and he got it. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense couldn't hang on to the ball last time around. Let's see what happens here. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. And he's tackled at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. Call a loss of one yard on the play. Third down. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Ready, check, check. Fox two, Fox two. He makes his way to about the 45. down 10 yards to go ball on the 43 here we go easy 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 rally rally <laughs> fires out to his wide out he's knocked out of bounds at the 30 yard line a little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's tackled around the 14-yard line. From the 14-yard line, first down. He's on the run. And they got him. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let's go. Hey, 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 Mike 40, Mike 40. Come on, six, ready. Fires out to his receiver, and he's hit immediately. Number 10, number 10. 
tackle at the five yard line. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Four down, four down. 40's a mic, 40's a mic. Here we go. Red 18. Hot. He's scrambling. Touchdown, and we're all tied up. They'll try to tack on the extra point that will take the lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Purdue lines up for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He goes at the 24-yard line. The Nittany Lions coaching staff and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for him. Well, the offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one or maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. Very good tackle in space. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Easy, easy. It's intercepted, and that should do it. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 38-yard line. Oh, no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. you got to be more careful with the football. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38. He makes it to the 38-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. And that's the safety who stepped up to make that tackle. Tackled after a decent pickup. Penn State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. down and now they have an opportunity to run some more time off the clock from the 27 yard line it's first down and this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee So this one's in the books, and we saw a great one here today. 17-16, Boilermakers. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.